Hey guys, Brian from Ball Guy Side. And if this is your first time here, I do all sorts of videos to help students, parents, and teachers kick some class with EdTech tools and tutorials in 2021. Wow, that's a lot of t -t 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 uh, and beyond. And in this video, I'm gonna show you an awesome trick using Canva or any other platform and Pear Deck to create personalized choice boards and activities like that. Really quick, so let's go ahead and jump in. Okay guys, first of all, I'm in Canva, but you could do this in anything. If you love Photoshop or Sumo Paint or whatever it is that you use to create graphics in your uh, setting, use it. I'm also gonna be using Bitmoji because I'm forcing myself. I don't really love them, um, but I need to get over myself because my kids think they're pretty funny. So you can see that like I got my Bitmoji up here. I'm in this blank page and I have this thing for any questions, right? So I'm just gonna go up to my bitmoji and to be honest today i'm just going to grab some random ones that i think might possibly uh work okay guys so uh, this is a little crazy i don't normally love bitmojis but kids do and so i'm just gonna get over myself and we're gonna use them and, and you should too so uh what i did is i just grabbed some bitmojis that i think might be interesting for my kids to tell me how they're doing with the lesson. Now, I just started a unit in chemistry. I teach seventh grade and wow, that's an ambitious undertaking. Uh, kids struggle with things they can't quite see in their brain interacting with things we're not really sure what they look like, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just slap these down here, but you could imagine you could use this for anything. Make it a multiple choice type question. Maybe you wanna do a choice board. Maybe you wanna put the kids in centers or groups and let them pick. Uh, whatever it is, you could build any type of these and then make them draggable. And it doesn't matter if it's, you know, uh, two, four, as many as you wanna put up there. You could use a map, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second in Pear Deck, where this just blows up all of what you could do with Pear Deck. So let's go ahead and move on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and download this image as a JPEG. Awesome, so from Canva, I've got that downloaded. I can see it popped up down here, my download. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to a Pear Deck presentation that I already have going on. So let's go to PearDeck.com. If you haven't seen any of my videos on Pear Deck, go ahead and check that out. It is awesome, especially if your district already purchased it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and log in and it should get me in there. Now I'm gonna create a lesson just straight up from scratch, but you can see how you could do this with anything else. So I'm just gonna create a lesson. I'm working with Google Slides, so this is already installed into my um, Google Classroom. Okay, so it's loaded. It gives me those instructions that I get the first time, like going to add-ons and make sure Pear Deck is good. Click Pear Deck to get my toolbar over here on the right. That's rocking and rolling. And now I'm gonna insert a blank slide. Now why blank? Because I'm gonna take this image right here. I'm gonna drag it in from my downloads, but you could have inserted it into the background, which is probably the better way to do it. Let's go ahead and put it in the background. Let's do it right. So I'm gonna right click and just go to change background. I'm gonna to go to image, upload, browse. Now, here's one caution for you. If you're only gonna make one slide, then add it to theme, sure, why not? But if you're not, don't do that, okay? Cause then it's gonna add in the background of every slide, unless you're gonna reuse this. So I hit done. Now, I, there's nothing on here, no questions, nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this draggable by clicking over here in the Pear Deck side. Now, it's working, it's figuring out what I needed to do, and it's gonna give me some awesome options. Here we go. I want this on a student device, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that and hit next. And now I get to choose what it is I'm looking for. So imagine real quick, if you were doing a map lesson with students, you could actually change this, change this to a flag or a pin location. So, hey, where was the Battle of Saratoga? Saratoga, anyway, uh, so put a map in the background, have kids drag something around. Um, that could be really cool. Maybe you're just in elementary and you wanna say, hey, can you show me where your um, home state of whatever Iowa is and they can drag that around. So just a great way to do that. Now there's math operations in here too. So you could have right angles, positives, all sorts of stuff 
uh, we can use numbers. And there's a really great way to do this as well. If you wanted kids to order those four pictures, so they're flat in the background, they can't move them around. But if they belong to a process so like the water cycle and you wanna tell the kids, all right, I'm a raindrop in the ocean, what's next? And they drag one, two, three, four on the next four processes of evaporation, condensation, precipitation, collection. Whoa, we can add multiple draggable things on the screen. So let's just say that for this case, I'm going to use that ranking system. I'm going to have the kids look at these images and say, hey, I, I want um, each one of these to be different. I can pick the color and I'm going to hit add another. And then this one's going to be two. And I want that to actually change to say red, add another. I'm going to bump that to three, leave that alone. And then four. So I just created this awesome custom graphic. Well, okay, it's not awesome. But whatever I want this to mean, how are you feeling with this chemistry lesson that I'm doing right now? Kids can actually drag these numbers out or they could order things in a column, most dense to least dense. Your imagination here is the thing that's gonna allow you to create the image you need, put it in the background, make it draggable in Pear Deck, and now you're not bound by the template library. You just made your own stinking template awesome for your kids. Hey guys, I hope that helps you with Pear Deck and Canva, but this type of thing is what I love to do. Help students, teachers, and parents kick some class with EdTech tools. If you like this kind of thing, click that like button, subscribe. Uh, you'll be notified every time I make a new one, but share this with a colleague. Uh, help them kick some class in 2021 and beyond. But what ideas do you have? How do you use Pear Deck and Canva and drag and, uh, draggable objects for your awesomeness in your class? Leave that down in the comments. And for Bri, for Ball Guy Sai, I will see you in the next video video.